Hello everyone and welcome to this Mars setup guide. If you've clicked this video, I assume you're already familiar with this product. For those who don't know, this cool looking hardware is called Mars and with it you can play light gun games straight from your Xbox One or PlayStation 4. The first step is to find a good position for the IR station. I could go for the coffee table, the floor or any other hard surface with good view of the TV. What I like to do is to physically check which spot would be the best. Let's try this small coffee table. See, this position doesn't seem too good. In this angle, the lights in the room are being reflected from the TV and this might cause problems with accuracy or calibration. I could turn the lights off, but as I have lots of other options, let's try another. This is much better. The whole TV screen is visible from this angle and it's free from any bright reflection. Additionally, there's nothing to mirror the screen. Okay, now we have found a good position, we can place the IR station there and connect it to the console. If I point my finger towards where the IR station is looking, I should see an orange marker. This orange marker needs to be brought to the middle of the screen, as you can see here. And importantly, it can't be bigger than this circle. I'll show you what I mean. If I rotate the ball section of the IR station up, you can see the orange marker goes up. And if I rotate it down, the orange marker goes down. Same thing if I rotate the whole thing left, the orange marker will go left. And left again, it goes left. So here I'm just demonstrating how to control the orange marker. The aim is to get it to the middle. And notice, each time I move it, I let go. You know, I'm not doing this, constantly moving it around. So make sure you don't do that. Just let go and wait for the orange marker to update. Okay, let's finish this calibration. So the orange marker needs to go up slightly and then right. So I've rotated the ball up. Now I'm rotating the whole thing right. And it should be in the middle. But notice, although it's roughly in the middle, it's not calibrating. This is because the orange marker is too big compared to the flashing circle in the middle, as I mentioned earlier. If the orange marker is too big, you know that you need to move the IR station backwards. See, as I move it back, the orange marker shrinks. So let's just rotate the ball down and move right slightly. A little bit more. That's it. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another example just to drive this whole thing home. As you can see here, whichever direction I rotate, the orange marker goes in that direction. Okay, so what do I have to do to calibrate here? I need to move left and up. So rotate the whole thing left and move the ball up and we should be in the middle. Perfect. But notice here, there are lots of reflections on the TV screen. And also the sun's come up now, so there are reflections of my windows on the TV. If I had to play in this angle, I would close the blinds and switch off the overhead lights to get the best experience. And that's what I would recommend. It's time to pair our Lightcon to the IR station. To turn your Lightcon on, press the power button which is on the right side as shown here. The Lightcon should pair within a couple of seconds. If it doesn't, switch off by pressing and holding the power button like so. Once turned off, pull the trigger, press the back button and power button at the same time and it should reset and pair. As an extra note, if the IR station has moved accidentally after calibrating, it will need to be calibrated again and it does this automatically. If it hasn't moved by much, it will calibrate on its own instantly as shown here. But if it's moved very, very slowly, the motion sensor might not be able to pick this up and you might encounter accuracy issues in the game. So watch out for this. Here, the motion sensor picked up the last jolt of movement and you can see the orange marker has moved too far out of the middle and requires me to place the IR station back in its good spot by rotating it right slightly. And that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. If this video has helped you, please like and share to your fellow light gun lovers. And if you need any more help, let me know in the comments section below. Have fun.